A horrific story this evening. A young German shepherd found shot in Derby. Now two people are facing criminal charges, and animal advocates are using this and many other incidents to push for stricter animal cruelty laws here in Connecticut. Fox 61's Carmen Chow explains. It was during the overnight hours when Derby police found the German Shepherd here at the Derby Picnic Grove on Nutmeg Avenue suffering from multiple gunshot wounds surrounded by a trail of shell casings. Around 2.30 in the morning on Friday, Derby police say they received a call of a German Shepherd shot. When officers arrived, the dog named Thunda was alert and sitting up but bleeding significantly and could not walk. Approximately 10 shell casings were found at the scene, along with the trail of blood leading to where he sat. Rushed to the shoreline, VCA doctors performed life-saving procedures, where Thunda is currently in stable condition. Surveillance footage later revealed it was the owners of the dog, now identified as Strange Perrin and Anthony Singletary, who called 911. Police later determined it was the owners who shot their dog. They could offer no explanation as to where the dog was or why the dog wasn't there. Several firearms were located in the vehicle consistent with the caliber that were found at the scene. Police say both Perrin and Singletary are homeless and live in their car with their infant and three-year-old child. Each are facing numerous charges, such as conspiracy to commit cruelty to animals. Lieutenant Stanko telling Fox 61 this incident has gotten support from people out of state. The outpouring of support on social media, uh, you want people wanting to offer rewards for the arrest and conviction and, the, and to pay this dog's medical bills because there was some issue with that um, was just was overwhelming. Um, you know, more so sometimes we think than even if it was a, a human being. Animal advocates like Desmond's Army is now working to help Thunda find a foster home once he fully recovers. When you have firearms and in your car being homeless, that takes it to a whole nother level. Um, that's unacceptable. Former state representative Diana Urban teaming up with Desmond's Army and strengthening Connecticut's animal abuse laws. But we need to give him a sentence and we can then suspend it so that we have a record of what that person did. The Shelton Animal Shelter has started up a GoFundMe page for anyone who wants to donate medical cost. And I'm told the community response has been so overwhelming they have even exceeded their goal. If you want to donate, just head to fox61.com. Click on this web article and we'll post a link there. Reporting in Shelton, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.